Hello everyone on YouTube. Okay, sorry about the very low quality of this um, video. It's for two reasons. One, I'm recording this on my phone because all of my other cameras, iPod Touch and my uh, Canon Nixa 70 here, are practically out of power, which is just so typical. Okay, that aside, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial now just to explain how to get the modified stock firmware onto your Nova 7 G2. Now, the first take on this was a fail, but I've learned from my, my mistakes, so um, basically continue. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I'm not sure what my phone's microphone is. I don't think it's the best. So basically, uh, in the description, I will have you, I'll give you a link to where you can download the modified stock, stock firmware here, um, which obviously has lots of information. You can't really see a lot from the camera, but uh, sorry about this, but there is a link there in that, in that link. Um, there's a link to download it. Once you've downloaded the relevant zip file from um, ARC, um, you need to unzip it, don't change any of the files as always. Right, you will also need to um, install the Rockchip drivers for this, this is something I did um, realise that's something you do need to do. Now since I've only done it once and I didn't, and I struggled with it personally, um, I would suggest you go onto the forum of ARC which um, there will be on the top of the page on the link I, I will have in the description basically just have a look around I'm sorry I can't help you with that but um, I don't really want to mess it up and secondly I found it a complete faff myself okay so we got so once you want to set the files you, this one you don't need rock chip batch tools there's a bit of there's an application already already there for you so you just right click on that run as administrator as always now the device is not plugged in yet so it's gonna say no no rock chip drivers found. So, a simple remedy. <laughs> Not really a simple remedy, but um, right. So, what you need to do, make sure your tablet's powered off. Make sure the uh, on-off switch is in the lock position. And make sure you've got one end plugged in, like so. You will also need a pointy thing. Kebab skewer. Sorry. Cat, this camera's weird. Kebab skewer. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to plug in your device... Set, and just after you've done that, you press and hold the reset button. If all goes well, that should say what uh, device found. So here we go. Plug in, reset. Press and hold. Now it's just saying USB device not recognised. Don't worry about that. Right. And then gonna do it. So run as administrator yet again. Right, okay, run as administrator again, you have to then take off the reset button, and now it's saying found RK Android Loader Rock USB, as it's saying here. Now, do not change any numbers or anything on the top here. Anything here, leave it, otherwise you're going to mess things up for good. And just simply click run. Now, on the right-hand side here, you've got a dictation here of what's sort of going on. Just leave it to do what it needs to do, and as you can see, it's just writing the firmware. So obviously, I am doing this live here now, so you will be able to see from start to finish what's going to happen. Um, and I did say in my last video that I did I was reverting back to this firmware, which was my which was my primary firmware, um, and I would and I said on the uh, other video I did I would have actually kept the uh, lookalike firmware. Of Android 3.2 on my device, but the battery icon does not work, so that is why I have decided to revert. So I will keep this running for you um, from start to finish. <sighs> so it's nearly done now. I will tell you what keep, what happens. So I will uh, hang on. Put up the kickstand. One sec. Hopefully it does not jog the connection. Tablet's down there. You can't really see it. No, you still can't really see it. Okay, just leave it to do that. It'll basically flash the firmware and then uh, recheck the firmware, so that takes like about 5-10 minutes. Just have to bear with me with this one. So yeah, in terms of the... if you wanted a firmware that was completely working to date, this one I'd recommend. The uh, lookalike firmware, I probably wouldn't at this point in time because it's still 
it doesn't actually say on the website that it's a beta but nevertheless there are things that are not fully working so I would recommend you go with this firmware for now right okay I believe that is now finished right it is finished and uh, on the website it does say it's meant to reboot it doesn't at the moment but what you need to do is you need to uh, I believe you just flick it like that and I think if we're all correct no okay in that case press and hold my uh, live videos don't really work out for me very well right there we go so you basically when it says it's uh, when it says done you just um, um, flick it to the on position sorry I'm gonna bring you down and now it's gonna bring up some kind of wipe screen um, oh yeah I should say take out your SD card <laughs> so now it's just basically wiping your data uh, so make sure you've done a backup as, well, as always if you if you've done these sort of things before make sure you've done a backup um, you can see me quite clearly in the reflection there hello uh, wait hello <laughs> sorry okay so that's just going to take a little bit of time so I will leave you uh, sorry about the tripod I'll leave you to look at that As you as you can still see, I have still got the device connected to USB. You could disconnect it, but for the sake of argument, keep it connected. While well, it does this, and this this process will take some time, so I will uh, cut the video here and come back to you when that's done. Okay, there it's just um, it's just finishing now, and it's now starting up the boot progress. As you can see, I've also moved the camera a bit. So this is what you're going to get when it boots up. That's an Android logo. You can't really couldn't really see it very well there. So basically, there you go. It just um, once it's got to this stage, you should be a okay. As I say, if you're having any problems with um, installing this firmware or just any problems in general with the firmware at all or if you've had a brick device um, then just contact me I would try and help you um, if you look on ARC's um, website there there is actually a, uh, a page with um, a how to how to fix the brick device now I've not needed to, to uh, do that just because obviously not bragging but I sort of know what I'm doing so I, don't, I, don't, I generally am careful when it comes to these sort of things and you can see me pretty well in that reflection there um, who cares? So, um, I'll leave it till it reboots, uh, which, um, shouldn't take too long, he said, ha ha, doing this live, it doesn't always work. Anyway, um, so yeah, any, any other questions you may have about this firmware, then, uh, just leave them in the description, or, not description, sorry, leave them below. Uh, hopefully you've been able to hear me okay with my phone doing the recording. There we go. It's just now, uh. Just turn on the boot procedure. So, hopefully, you've been able to hear me okay via my phone because my phone's not very good uh, video quality by any means. It's when it records in VGA. Calibration successful, really. So, there you go. It's all working. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. Do I give her monkeys? No, I don't. I'll sort it out later. So, there you go. All fully working. You can now unplug your device. There you go. That was uh, a tutorial on um, how to install this modified stock firmware on your Nova 7 G2 device. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you so wish, comment, and do all the other stuff you might want to do. Thanks for watching.